Hello everyone and welcome back to my journey of creating a city builder game from scratch using my own engine and this week I'm going to be implementing my own GUI library which I'll be using to create all of the user interfaces in this game. So in my previous game, Aquilinox, I also had a UI system of course and I was pretty happy with it at the start but over time throughout development I kept realising that I needed to add new features to it and it started to get a little bit messy because uh, I kept adding things on top of it. So this time I kind of want to start from scratch again so that I can structure everything properly from the beginning and have a really good easy to use UI system because it's obviously something that I'm going to use a lot throughout the development of this game. Also this time around there are a couple of extra things that I want to add support for. For example in this game the player is going to be able to resize the display at any time and that's obviously going to have an effect on the UI so that's something else I need to pay attention to while I'm programming this system. I just want to demonstrate to you quickly the system that I'm working on for positioning UI elements on the screen and um, it also automatically handles the display size changes. So as an example let's say that I wanted to add a grey square uh, onto the screen and I want it to be centered horizontally I want it to be 20 pixels from the top of the screen and I want its width to always be 10% of the width of the display. So I've been working on a constraint system that makes this fairly easy to do. All I have to do is to set the various constraints that I want to set. So for example the X position uh, I wanted it to be centered horizontally so I just set that to a center constraint. For the Y position I wanted it to be 20 pixels from the top of the screen so I create a pixel constraint and set that to 20. Then for the width I wanted it to be 10% of the width of the screen so relative to its parents that's going to be 0.1 times the parents width. And finally for the height well we want it to be a square so that means it's going to have an aspect ratio of 1 to 1 so I add an aspect constraint and set that to 1. Then I can just go ahead and add a UI element to the screen or to any other UI component using those constraints. And if I go ahead and run that you can see that it's done exactly what I was hoping for and most importantly it maintains those constraints when I change the display size. So it automatically resizes and repositions the square so that it always fulfills those requirements that I set without me having to write any extra code telling it what to do when the display changes size. This morning I've been working on quite an interesting little feature, something I've never done before, and that is implementing rounded corners for UI elements. And I've done this in the code so that I can add rounded corners to any UI element and I can also choose how rounded the corners are. And to implement this during the rendering process, while every pixel is being rendered, I first test whether that pixel is in one of the corners of the UI element and this value R, this can be changed, this determines how rounded the corners are. And if the pixel is in one of the corners then I test the distance between the pixel and this point here and I check whether that's within a range of R um, which would be within this range here. And if it's within that range then that pixel gets rendered and if it's outside that range then that pixel is made transparent and that creates these nice curved rounded edges. So that's definitely something that I'll be using in my UI design for this game. So I just finished implementing that. I've got a few more features to add this afternoon to the UI system, but um, first I want to get outside for a bit, go for a run. I found that running is quite a nice way to discover the local area, seeing as I just moved here. And today I'm gonna try and find a nearby lake that I saw on Google Maps. I'm getting quite close to finishing the basic UI system now, I've just been adding a few final tweaks and features. For example I just made sure that the whole UI is scalable, so in the options menu I'm probably going to have a slider which will allow you to change the size of all the UI in the game, um, which is useful for higher resolution displays where the UI might appear a bit small, so you can make it bigger or smaller as you want. Also um, I've just been adding some support in the codes for transitions so that in the future it will be easier for me to program nice smooth transitions for the UI as they move in and out. 
For the rest of the day, I've just been testing out the UI library, um, not really in terms of testing the code to make sure that it works, but more in terms of trying it out as a developer, putting it to use and seeing how easy it is to implement new UI components. So for example, as a test, I just implemented this very basic slider component, um, which is just made up of two UI blocks, which I positioned using the new constraint system. Very simple to do, as you can see in the code here. And then the position of one of those blocks is controlled by the position of the mouse. As you can see, it didn't take much code to do that. Um, it was quick and easy, no problems. And I've just been using the UI system to implement various other simple components like this, just to make sure that it's nice and easy to use and doesn't have any limitations. Anyway, I'm finished for today, and this evening there's something going on in Hamburg at the harbour, something with lights or fireworks, I'm not really sure, but I'm going to check it out and uh, just enjoy the evening and then get started with my next task tomorrow morning. So the plan for today, and actually for the next couple of days, is to implement text rendering into my UI system so that I can have some text displayed in my UIs. And again, I was pretty happy with the system that I had in Equilinox. I think it just needs a few tweaks, a bit of restructuring, and obviously again, support for the changing display size. Um, but I think I'll be able to reuse a lot of the code, so hopefully this won't take too long. I'm going to copy a lot of the code across, restructure it all, and hopefully end up with a very nice text rendering system. So I've been working on the text system for about a day now and I did kind of end up redoing everything. I just really want to make sure that I get the structure right this time and that it's going to be easy for me to use in the future because that will just, in the end, it will speed up development in the future and um, even if it takes a few more hours now, hopefully in the long run it's going to save time. And also, this UI library, I know I've been spending a long time on it, but it's not just for this project. I'm hoping that if I program it well enough now, um, I'll be able to use it for many future projects as well. So it's taking time now, but hopefully in the long run it's going to be worth it. So after a lot of work, I finally got some text actually displaying on the screen, which is very nice to see. And um, I've still got a little bit of work to do with the changing display sizes, but now that I've got some text actually rendering, it shouldn't take too much longer. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I implemented the text rendering, I actually made a tutorial on it a few years ago now. Um, I used distance fields and I did a tutorial all about that, so you can check that out if you're interested. But I'm pretty much finished for the day. Um, I've got some friends coming around in a bit this evening and we're all going to cook together so I can finally take my mind off text and start thinking about food. So that's pretty much going to be it for this week. Next week things are hopefully going to get a little bit more exciting as I start some work on some actual gameplay, some city building mechanics, which I'm very much looking forward to. Before I finish this week, I just need to give a big shout out to the top Patreon supporters from last month, who were B Jamin, Danny D, Andrew Witt, Marek Mikolajczyk, Timothy Gibbons, Leandro Di Pietro, Miguel Diaz Rivas, Alberto Spina, Sean McCrory, and Alexander Chavez. So a massive thank you to you guys, and of course to everyone else supporting me over on Patreon. For this week though, that is it. So thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.